Okay, so what's up everybody? Super Silent Sim 13 here. So this is going to be the finale episode, I guess. Um it's definitely gonna end up being the most intense episode so far just because the last three levels that I'm doing. The final boss isn't that bad, but Icicle Arsenal, least favorite level in the game. And the uh, Kong place is pretty difficult, so you know. The video after this will also be pretty challenging because it is a secret seclusion world, but it's not gonna be that bad. I'm honestly not really I'm not really scared of doing that video. This video though I do have a little bit of nervousness about. Alright, so this one has seven puzzle pieces. It's that bad of a level that it couldn't even keep five. The other levels were doing just fine, keeping it nice and simple with seven. But now I mean with five, but now we have this seven piecer. So make sure you use your barrel roll wisely as you do that. And Suffle always makes me feel so uncomfortable when I play it, man. Alright. As long as we don't miss anything and have to go back to the level again, that would be terrible. Oh yeah, and then there's those. The icicles. Uh, ooh, bird is freaking out. Something... Jeez, that thing is crazy. So looking at the bird right now, what, wrong answer? Okay. <laughs> Alright. There's something I'm not doing right on that part. I thought of this, I thought it was this to be honest, but... There's definitely something secret here. Okay, so it's not even there, so it's... Oh, well, I'm way away from it. Yeah, I see it up there. I thought it was down towards the bottom of the level, which is obviously why I was looking in the completely wrong place. Alright. Puzzle piece one of seven gotten. Only six more to find. And the rest of the level to go through. Including all those in Kong levels. Kong... Letters, I mean. Don't worry, game. Got you. Thank you. That's two of them done now. Er, I was trying so hard not to get hit by one of those. I was trying to evade it. Alright, now here's another one. Dang, this level just likes putting them back to back now, doesn't it? If only the whole level was this quick. If this was an accurate timer, then this level would take only about, you know, like five minutes, but I doubt that. We've reached the checkpoint though. But there's not really a whole lot as far as partner characters go from this point onward. And there is something over there, so that's our fourth one coming up. And we do that, and yeah, we need to go get this. We're gonna get that penguin. We are going to aim for that penguin. Penguin, you are making way too much trouble. Hey, I did not see you. That penguin was super stealth ninja, okay? Oh, great, a bonus level. This should be fun. Okay, good, it's the ice one. This one, I, I remember this one being very nice, and oh no, we can't even hit them all. We have to, like, jump around and stuff. Oh, honestly, jumping on ice is actually a really good idea. Of course, unless, of course, it's, like, thin ice and you're in real life where, you know, you land and it breaks. But in actual games, like, it's always meant to slow down your momentum, but if you jump, it doesn't really affect you. You can always stay on ten platforms like that. So, they kind of made that one really easily done. Like, that didn't require you to do some weird dashing and turn around. That was a weird change of direction. I was aiming to shoot it to the right. Alright, so here comes number, what, five now? I don't even know. We're just getting them right back to back. Yeah, this should be number five, so I'm glad we're getting them so close together, though, to be honest. So I want to get all the collectibles done so I can just focus on completely just rushing this level. Oh, well, that wasn't a bonus room. I was setting my mindset for a bonus room. I mean, right there I died anyways just to show that this level is difficult. I didn't do that on purpose, so to be honest, but I did die, so. This is only the O. 
which means we're about halfway through the level right now, I'd like to say. I've gotten better at this level for sure, but it's still just, oh my gosh, I did not like it. The first part's okay, like this part right here is okay, I can actually handle it, and it's nice platforming for the world, but, oh my gosh, never mind, this level, nope, <laughs> just nope. <laughs> Uh, I was I was initiating my fist to pound, but my fist was not done charging yet. I was gonna I was gonna punch that thing off, but uh, it was quite the sudden death situation. All right, we want to take this guy out. This is just one of those checkpoints that you just like restart from a lot. It's one of those levels where you just die a lot. Whether it be something completely outrageous or just level wearing down on you, kind of like it is right now. Um, Alright, my fists are ready to pound you out the way, sir. I believe this, uh, let's see what this is. Not anything special, but that next letter I do not like at all. And it's a letter on top of that and not a puzzle piece, which means if you die, you have to try to get it again. Uh-oh. Do we just, okay, good, there's another one. Nope, don't jump on it. Oh, this part, no! Alright, alright, it actually tilts depending on where you are, which is, there we go, okay. Wait, was that the bird? Bird, okay. I just saw movement, because this game's always moving. Whenever I see movement anywhere towards that part of the screen, I get very uh, alerted. We're going to wait for these really, really hot hoots to get out the way because they're blue fire I guess you could say um, here let's go and get this I don't think it's a puzzle piece or anything but I mean you know hopefully I'm talking loud enough I just realized I'm kind of talking quietly oh yeah this is probably one of those collect -em -alls. either that or that obvious bush up there is it but that would be kind of easy although this level does seem to have easy puzzle pieces alright let's go and get it and see if it is oh. Never mind then, okay, we just have to do this really simple thing. Although it's a bonus level, and it's this bonus level, it appears. Oh no. It's one of my dreaded ones. I don't like the ones with the moving bouncy platforms. I mean, bouncy platforms are fun, this game has fun bouncing. But when they bounce and move over this kind of pit where it's very timed as well, and then that happens. Oh, I was hoping the. Why couldn't it just spawn right underneath me? Why did it have to go to. This level is absolute bullcrap. This checkpoint is the worst thing ever. Look at this, we're way back here. This level, I can remember why I hated it now. For a minute there, I was kind of questioning how much I hated this level. Because I knew there was that one section that was really bad, but I was wondering about the rest level, but now I understand. This part of the level isn't bad, but the fact that you have to restart and do this part of the level every time you die until you make it to that one checkpoint, which is quite a lot, apparently. Because I pounded. Not sure what your problem is. Alright. You know what? I think it might be easier just to do the, uh... Never mind. Never mind. Just never mind of that one. Alright, well, we've got the worst checkpoint in history. Worst level in the game. I just got stuck on this level the first time and was close to getting the game over. It's the finale. This is going to be an intense episode that will probably get a pretty decent amount of views compared to the previous episodes, I'm sure, because. Nobody's really been watching this, but maybe somebody will tune into the finale. If you are right now, then hey, guess what? This level is a bunch of bull crap, but we have to get it out the way because this is a 100% playthrough. So, with that out the way, that brief explaining, for those who didn't already know why I'm playing a level that I absolutely hate, this isn't just one of those just for funs, of course, you know, because if so, I would definitely be skipping this. Oh, wait. Bird, yeah, I know, I've got it. Oh, bird! I see the reason why this is difficult now, because they make you die from that checkpoint, and then people, by the time they get here, they're just trying to brush past, and then they can't even skip up to this bush without having to pluck that annoying thing out the ground. 
Alright, level. This is going to be so much easier with a partner character, but honestly, like, when's the last time I reached one of these with a partner character? They've been dead, okay? Okay, I almost died there for a second. I was like, I do not want to restart this one part. Um. Alright. Alright. Oh no, this is bad, this is bad. Come on. Alright. Dang it, I hate this level so much. Oh my gosh, gotta restart from that same terrible checkpoint. Worst checkpoint in existence. Just worst checkpoint in existence, and we have to go back to it. Why does this level have to exist? They should have scrapped it out of the game. Why would they keep such a horrible level? This level just makes me depressed, man. Oh my gosh, I hate this level. Oh, man. Forget all of you, I'm trying to... What the garbage was that? This level is really, really... I just hate this song a lot. Just come on. Breathe through it. I'm not gonna shout or anything, but if you hear some deep sighing noises, then you can definitely understand why. In case you were wondering what my frustrated voice is, that's kind of it. <laughs> Screw life! What is wrong with you? Oh my gosh, this part is terrible. This level! I knew this would happen! At the beginning of the playthrough, I was like, but what about at the end of the playthrough? Oh my gosh, this level is a nuisance, and I would easily remove it from the game if I had my hands on the development. It's not cool. Okay, just retro, don't put in these kind of levels, okay? Just don't put them in. Don't. This level is completely irrelevant to the whole game. Why does it exist? Just why? I'm gonna put some sort of annotation in the video to say when to skip ahead of, hor of this horrible level. I'll go ahead and put in the trouble to figure out how to do annotations and stuff, and I'll I'll put them in and tell people just to skip this horrible part of the level. All right. So. We're gonna keep an open mind. Once we get this part done, I will feel a lot better about this playthrough. This is the puzzle piece that's a big jerk. Alright bird, I've got it under control bird, okay? I'm gonna try this again and see what kind of luck I get with this horrible platforming section. I'll give them credit, they made this just the biggest annoyance in the whole game. Like, if they were shooting to make the bonus rooms, that was... Alright, great, pause screen, they don't even give you a timer to get back in the groove of where you are. That's the thing, like, there's one or two games that I play where they give you the pause thing, and like, whenever you press resume, it gives you a short little timer, or at least there's an option to do that, to where it like says 3, 2, 1, and shows you the actual screen where you're going to resume from. Does that really help? Of course the checkpoint was right there, I had a feeling too. I could have just hit that checkpoint, gone back, done the thing. 
This level is the biggest bunch of bullcrap. Six out of seven. There's only one more left, and I know where it is. So, hello? There you go. Um, penguins. Just, why did I pronounce it like that? Sometimes I say really weird pronounce it. Get out the way. Just get out the way. No. 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 Okay, just no. S stop, okay? Stop as much as you can, penguins. Oh my gosh, that part is just... I don't even know. This level of difficulty is way... Way bad. They should just retexture this as like a fourth other level. Well, that's a quick checkpoint. Go from one checkpoint to the next in like three seconds on that part. Oh, well, I guess that part was pretty difficult, so otherwise it would have taken long. Oh no, this part, this part, uh, I really hate these turny things. Okay, the icicles, icicles, I used to like icicles before I played this level. Good job, bird. You successfully gave me some. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't hit those bushes. Those bushes are a trap. The bushes are a lie. How many? There's a G. Thanks, game. I needed that. Alright, that part took me forever to figure out what to do. I almost forgot about that level. Or that letter. Oh, this part scares me so badly. Alright. At least I'm at a gamepad view so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, I nailed that first try. Someone has to give me credit for that. Because uh, that part took me forever. Because looking at the TV screen, it might just be my TV. But I couldn't even see the icicles. I thought they were invisible for the longest time. Or that a weird glitch was happening. So that's the advantage of having this gamepad done the whole time. Alright, this is... That's one of the three levels I'm going to be doing in this video. 57 minutes to do the other two. I believe that's enough time. Although we have one more horrible level. And then, after this horrible level, we get a nice level that is happens to be the final boss, but is also a very difficult final boss. Um, <laughs> this really, any way you slice it, this could be... That is so misleading having that right there. You have to go all the way around, to be honest. So, it's like at the forest or something? Yeah, like, look at that. Bullcrap. <laughs> There should be multiple ways to get to this level, and it should also act as a shortcut going across the island. That would be just a brilliant idea for them to just make that small little change. Bring in the squawks. Alright, squawks, we're working on it. Slippy spikes. Now, first time I played this level, it's this level and that last level I played like consecutively, and I was hating this game so bad that I just wanted to stop. But I couldn't stop, and I was splintering myself with painful going through the levels and I was pretty sick too so just this last part is just gonna have a bad place in my memory just for forever not the last part of this uh, level but just the last part of this video or at playthrough or whatever this level and the one that I just played before at the icicle level just these two level what was that Oh yeah, and I, I'm, I've said it before in these videos, but I'm going to say it again for those who don't know, but why did they put the Rain Remix theme that was originally on the first level on the hardest, the last Kong level, the even-numbered Kong levels? Why did they put that there instead of just keeping it on? Alright, so we missed a puzzle piece. I was hoping it was like... Go! Go! I could have done health restores for this video, honestly. Er well, I'm still alive. Apparently, I'm really terrible at finding out whatever it is. Scree 2 level, okay? I don't know what that was. <sighs> you know, Dixie might be just a little bit more useful for whenever you're falling off, but Diddy is much more stable than Dixie. Dixie just... I don't know, I feel really insecure whenever I use her. Like, I feel like I can manipulate the level, but I also feel like the level can manipulate me whenever I use Diddy, Dixie. But whenever I use Diddy, I just feel really... I feel really classic, I feel really... safe, to say the least. I feel like I'm gonna get a fair death if I do die. Which happens to be a lot. 
<laughs> that music, why did they put it here? What came through their minds that they decided to make that weird music change? Oh, wait. Wait. Is this the Invisa thing? Oh, yeah, this thing. This thing is so stupid. Screw you, level. Thanks, game. <laughs> Thank you for what a just worst puzzle piece ever, I swear. It doesn't help that that thing blends in with the surroundings so much, that little plucker thing, that you literally... It's just like the icicles on the last level. They did a horrible job with making things stand out. Like, most of the stuff is practically invisible to your eye. I don't know if that's just me, but... <laughs> that's the main stuff I miss, is that stuff. Or the stuff that I have trouble on. Oh my gosh, we made it through that section. Yeah, yeah I didn't take damage, okay. <laughs> We need our hearts. We need as much health as we can. Although I do believe these things actually give you some sort of health. Like, on returns, they were a little bit harder, I guess, kind of. This one definitely tops all of them, though, I'd like to say. No, I'm, I'm thinking of returns right now. It did have its difficulty, which is good. I mean, difficulty is good, but it wasn't really bad difficulty. I mean, I guess it was the first time you played the level. What is your problem? I hate this level a lot. I hate it a lot, and I am striving to do this within the hour, because I have like 50 minutes left of recording time, which means I need to do this and the final boss and the credits without running out of battery. So this level does not need to take more than 20 minutes. Just saying. And I'm not even sure how many minutes so I've already on it. And then if we die, of course, they did keep that aspect, of course, for these difficult courses. We gotta restart the whole level if we die, so. That's been the case for all the other Kong levels, but all the other Kong levels I'm actually somewhat okay with. Although now, looking back at my videos, it's been like the roughest playthrough I've done so far. Like, 3D Land had a few rough parts, but this playthrough has been the roughest, just most brutal playthrough to do. Like, I used to set times on the calendar where I would have to muster up my courage to do this, because just, just... This game is just not good for doing playthroughs of. It's just one of those games where you can't expect to do it in a certain amount of time, for sure. Like, I'm trying to do it before my camera battery dies on these, and most of the time when I was recording, especially the earlier parts of this, I have, like, a certain amount of time before I can't record anymore. We Are you kidding? Yeah, this is... Bull crap. Okay. Now. <laughs> this game just makes me wanna. Oh my gosh. It makes me wanna cry. It also makes me wanna just get so angry at the decisions made to make this game. This might just be my least favorite Donkey Kong Country. They're all super good, so I guess that's not saying too much. It's still better than any 2D Mario game I've played. But, <laughs> this, some of the things about this game just make me so angry. Even when I'm doing good at them, it's not even just because I'm doing bad at them. Like, just these levels annoy me so much. Like, with their overall concept. I mean, this level's okay, I guess, in level design. The level design, Wait, never mind about the level design. Why am I saying okay in level design? Okay, this level is just... It's very geniusly difficult. This should be some sort of uh, undesirable DLC pack. This is an high cycle level. It should really be something called undesirable pack. And then all the hardcore DK gamers would buy it, but not quite a whole lot of people to actually give them sales. That's 3 out of 5. Thank God these things only have 5 plus pieces. Dangerous. Okay. Even with, yeah, you need to have some. Okay. All right. So we're getting onto this part. Um, is that the bird? No, I just saw movement. I know it's not the bird though. Watch it be the one time it is the bird though. To be honest. Those spikes really scare me. They look like four dash K, and that level. Probably was my least favorite of the bunch. Like, that level was the second to last one that I beat on VR mode. 4 K in returns. <sighs> That's a useful technique, though, right there. Like, if you're, like, on the side, just, like, 
kind of like, I don't know, what was the strategy I was about to say? Whatever I just did there to save myself from getting damaged, do that. Thanks, game. Why do they have to have these? Come on. So, there's one left. It's somewhere along the line. You're gonna want to take this up slowly, okay? Speedrunners, I haven't, I've have yet to look at anybody do this level on time trials, but they... What kind of really weird lag was that? I almost just had some sort of, like, I don't know, whatever you call it when your eyes go berserko. We just call it aneurysm around here, like me and Kyle, even though it's just the exactly wrong term for it, but... I mean, <laughs> aneurysm is not when your eyes mess up, that's what we call it, because, I don't know, misconceptions, I don't know. <laughs> oh, back to what I was saying earlier in this video, I believe, about the ice thing, where you jump and, like, stay to keep traction on the ice. You're going to want to use that strategy here and make sure you don't fall off. Uh, wait. Ah, I can stand. Okay. Don't, don't float up there, Dixie. I know you've got your hair that makes you very floaty. Okay, right here, you've got some hair room, okay, Dixie, but most of these parts, like this part right here, you do not have much hair room. Alright, 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 alright. Four to five, okay. As long as we don't miss anything. Because I'm scared that we're going to miss anything, because this is towards the end. Okay, thank God it's something really simple and obvious, because I was really worrying that we missed something, or that I missed something. You people can... Feel free to be included in this too, though. You can. Anybody who's actually been watching this whole playthrough, I commemorate you to the highest commemoration that I can currently commemorate. Like anybody who has watched this playthrough up until this point, the entire thing, which is nobody, I'd like to say. I mean, I've played the whole thing, and that's pretty intense for me, I guess. But I, I cannot think of anybody that would watch this whole thing. And if anybody out there does, I'm sure if this thing ever gets popular at all then I'm sure there'd be at least one hardcore person that might do that, but honestly, this has just been a rough, kind of bad playthrough. It's on a really good game, though, but if you really want to see how frustration can play a part in this game, uh, you can look at this, even with, like, one of the most hardcore DK fans like me, like, uh, I'm, like, the only one out of my friends who really even likes Donkey Kong, but, and I really, really play Donkey Kong. We do not need a squawk. Would they really allow us to bring a squawks in on a boss level? What kind of stupidity is that? Hey, we're gonna bring this just for extra moral support, I guess. Almost feels like cheating with Diddy, you know? But you know what, let's just do it, I guess. Why not? Yeah, the barrels were there. We need to use them sometime. Alright. We're gonna want Diddy on this one, for sure. This is the one level where Diddy really shines. In case you didn't already hear me when I said that before. Oh yeah, cutscene stuff. Here, I'll turn up the thing. There we go. Now let me get some time to get my remote and controller back in hands. Thank you for taking a little while to do your little grinding thing, Mr. Person. I haven't played this game in a while, so therefore I haven't played this boss in a while. But it can be troublesome. I'm pretty sure I've still recounted my skills from it though. He like stops and laughs and then you throw that. This music is just really chaotic, like the fifth boss music is like really cool in my opinion. This one, not so much. Like, this one just feels really chaotic to me. It's kind of cool, though. Like, it definitely gives an intense feeling. Whenever I hear it, I... Oh, come on. We messed up pretty badly. We didn't even hit him the third time. This guy has nine hits instead of, like... Mario is so stupid. It has, like, three hits on almost everybody except for Axel Bowser. And then again, you don't even ever really fight him except in 3D ones. But back to this game, at least these people are difficult. Like, Mario bosses are just a joke, and that's sad. 
Like, that's why I don't really respect that series at all anymore. Three games I respect, but two Mario games I just have no respect for. Even though it doesn't count when you hit him over there, the only thing that really counts is when you hump him on his back. I mean, hit him on his back. Hit the hump of his back, which is apparently really hard to do, even with Diddy. But the final time is the worst. Like, I could easily do this uh, up until now, apparently, because I haven't really played this level recently. But just the final time is really hard. Like, Diddy, wanted, Diddy is like the only person I can really nail that with on, uh, you know, hard mode. Because hard mode, you have one life, so. Uh, yeah. So this might be a safe spot, right? Nope. Usually the part all the way to the left is usually the place you want to go to. I don't know, that's where I always go usually. It's very rarely not a safe spot. He likes dancing though, and I do give him that. He's the dancing fat walrus guy. And there you go. You're welcome. Alright, he's gonna go and Alright, this boss cut could take a while because I'm not very good with this boss fight, to be honest. Like, originally I was really terrible at like all the boss fights, but this one just really is bad for me. I, I, I'm not very good at this boss fight at all. Honestly, it took me quite a while to actually do the first time. Of course, without like using anything. Like, right now I have these backup things, and I guess that can help having the backup ditties. But still, it's hard. This is really a sincerely difficult boss fight. It's not exactly a cool boss fight. I mean, it kind of grew on me a little bit after I actually you know, saw it a couple times. The first time I was like, this is really the final boss with a disappointment. Like, the second phase is really what they need, though, where you, like, like, don't get me wrong, that ending phase where you smash him out the ship is really cool, but they should have a second phase. Like, that ice dragon thing, there shouldn't have been, like, he shoots him out of his thing, which is so disappointing. I was hoping that would be the actual final boss, fighting a giant ice dragon that actually, like, froze the island. Um, that would be really cool instead of that, like you fight him on top of the ship after you're done with this guy. Because this guy is kind of a disappointing final boss, I mean, DK doesn't always have like the biggest epic final bosses, like most of the time it's just King or Cool, of course, but he's gone in recent games apparently. But still, like this game, as epic as it was all the way through, I feel like I might like it more than Returns if this boss was a bit more epic. Like, if they had a second phase on this boss, like, something similar to what I said, I would like this game, like, a lot more. That, and if there was more than just the worlds we get here. I mean, six worlds okay if they're more jam-packed worlds, but it just makes the feel, it just makes the game feel really tedious. Like, I would honestly have a lot more worlds and a lot less levels on each world, instead of having a lot less worlds and a lot more on each one. Because I've never really been one to like that kind of thing. Like, Kirby Mass Attack, like, even that game, which I really loved as far as Kirby games go, I just couldn't play it for too long because like the levels were so long like there was only like four places not counting the boss world and I just needed a change of scenery. So I couldn't play it. This is the final time isn't it? Well that explains it. Yeah this is this is it right here. Maybe I should have brought three of these barrels but you know what whatever we're doing it with this not gonna make it too easy. Uh oh uh oh oh. No, 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 everything that could go wrong is going wrong in this video. This is the worst finale ever, okay, just... That boss fight, it took me like at least 5 or 10 minutes to get there, like how many minutes of recording time have I left? Oh, 40. We're getting more items. Uh, I, I really need items for this one, okay? I, I just, No. Just no to this entire world, to this entire game. <sighs> well, I, when I, I was thinking that when it came out, it would be like the best game on the Wii U, but I was heavily disappointed in this game, to be honest. Like, it's just something about this game. See you later, Funky Kong. Stay perky and try to come back in a good Mario Kart. You were good on Mario Kart Wii. The next awesome Mario Kart, hopefully, you'll be in it too, just to commemorate how awesome it is.
But hopefully there will be other characters so you're not as overused. No, just no. Come on, back to the final boss. So we couldn't even have a decent final boss fight. We had Don the final boss. And who's to say that we won't again? There you go. Attempt number two at the final boss. Alright. Can I wish there was more of a delay on those Diddy Kong barrels, because now they're just all going to pop out before I even get to that barrel that's right at the very beginning. Alright, watch for push. There you go. But I got Dixie in my panic. Oh well. Good, now I have all three in my thing. And I can just kind of waste Dixie on the first part of the boss fight. Dance, dance, dance. Really weird dance, but if you do it right, it looks like a dance. Not like that, though, for sure. It's easy to do with the gamepad, I believe. Because I think I played this the first time through with the gamepad, mostly. Yeah, I, I've actually played this game a lot with the gamepad, but since I'm recording on the gamepad right now, I, I just... Yeah. You know what, Dixie is kind of okay with this. But I just found that after using uh, Dixie, I worked much better with Dixie. Diddy. You have to hit them all three of those times if you want to get this done in one thing. Otherwise, this boss fight definitely is the longest in the game. It takes a while. I think Game Explain did a video and they like nailed it and did it pretty quickly. But honestly, this boss fight is just hard and long. All right. Yeah, this music is so chaotic. Like, it's not even catchy. It's just kind of chaotic. It has a cool sound to it, I guess, but it's just not catchy music. It's not the kind of music that I actually remember. Punch bowl music. The fifth boss fight has like my favorite boss music out of any Donkey Kong so far. That thing is just awesome in my opinion. But then this is just style let down. Like that's my favorite boss fight in the game. Like I would have been fine if he was the final boss. Just have a polar bear final boss and then just this guy right here like Polar Bear is kind of, I don't know, for Vikings, Polar Bear kind of works. He's not exactly a Viking, though. I mean, he's definitely a leader of, like, snow creatures, if they were to point him, but not Vikings. So they had to put this walrus, husky walrus person in here. So. Alright, game, just... Let's get you over with. We've still got three more levels after this on the secret seclusion. But by then I feel pretty self-accomplished. Hey uh. Alright. Don't die, Dixie. Good job. Good job, can we get him all three times? Third time's not the charm. Go away. The fact that the lava instantly kills you, of course, makes this difficult. And we've got the nice textures from Returns on the ground right here. Definitely recognize those. I've played Returns to like... i played it on like all three profiles on the Wii and all three profiles on the D8 3DS, so... i played that game a lot. Uh, I've memorized like almost every level, to be honest. This game I've only played... This is only like my third time playing through it. There's only three thoughts anyway, so... I don't know how much I would like if it actually came out on 3DS though, like, I would love to see this game in 3D to be honest though, like, I think I might rather see it in 3D than HD. I don't know, there's just something about this game that I don't really like on the Wii. Like, I feel if it was on a different system I might like it more, but... Okay, only once, we just have to hit him once, there you go. Alright, we're going into the difficult phase. It would be cool if we could just keep Dixie somehow, but that would be really weird and not exactly... I don't know. It would be cool just if it happened. So you're going to want to make... D Dixie is good for that part, I guess. To stay in air. She's definitely a floater. But Diddy is more of, you know, like... He's more useful all around, I guess. Well, not really all around, just... He's better for hopping and bopping, I'd like to say. Dixie is better for really weird jumping maneuvers. Which happen to happen a lot in this game. Dixie's vertical oriented. Same with Cranky. I think Cranky needed to have a little bit more to his cane bounce than what he has though, because it makes him not exactly the preferred character to use in this game. 
Like, I'm pretty sure people would rather even use Diddy over, like, Cranky on most levels. Like, just because Cranky is just purely downward oriented, and when there's nothing downward other than, like, Jeez, he goes so fast, I always have to get used to it. Dang, got him two times. Okay, I'm kind of good at him now. I think my practice from the earlier parts of when I first played... Wait, whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, wait, I'm scared now. I, I got my timing all messed up because I did that. almost thought that would have killed him there for a second because we got him twice, apparently. Wait a minute. Oh. I thought that was like a weak spot or something because he was just sitting there laughing. Oh, yeah, this part, like, is pretty difficult. Dog on it. Well, Dixie's gone. That was our one chance to do that, but let's be honest, that wasn't gonna happen, okay? This this game's too disappointing for that, in my opinion. Great, let's go ahead and kill all our people at the last hit. We could have just he killed him with that compound, but apparently you can't really do that as the final hit on these things. Which kinda sucks, because that would be the only time that I ever make use of it when I slipped and hit the AC button accidentally, you know. Alright, do your dance. Your really weird dance where you your skirt twirling all around and stuff. Alright, Diddy is ready to make the final ball. There you go. I don't even know how many times I just hit him. I just like turned around and like punched the air as hard as I could. Like that epic thing right there, that is the cool thing about defeating the final boss right then and there, but I still would have liked it if you like fought the ice dragon in the sky or something. I'm not going to turn up the music too loud for this part. I'm sure anybody watching this has probably already seen it anyways. That's a really awesome slash though, this guy is like, that's the best like, that's the most epic cutscene the entire game right there. And then, apparently that thing changes, like, I didn't even know that until then. Like, I didn't actually notice it in the background, he used it to change his size, but like, Kyle pointed out, I was like, really? I missed that? I was wondering why it was looking weird, though. <laughs> so we're riding these doilies around with the nice jazzy ending, which makes sense because you, like, blew them out the horn or whatever, and it's all fancy. I remember Kyle was like, what the heck, whenever that happened, though, because I think we were playing this. Either that or I just showed it to him. Alright, this is a really cool cinematic cutscene. It really shows off the H2 features. And that's an interesting use for the horn. Sounds a lot better than the way the other guy used it. This boss, it, this music, th this game does have much better music than uh, Return, so. Because I've been preparing the games a god throughout this entire playthrough. And I will go ahead and say that even though I, I do like Returns more as far as the two new games go, this game does have better music. Uh, I'll give it that. There was one or two soundtracks I like more on Returns, but this game, this game is good. Like 50% of the reason why I like this game is because the count soundtrack. 50% of the reason why I like the whole Donkey Kong Country series because the soundtrack. And this this game definitely nailed that they brought back David Wise, so that was a wise decision. Uh, I wasn't intending to pun too badly there, but it, it really was a wise decision, if, if you can take that seriously. Um, the game's good though, I always, I always tend to like the game a little bit more when we get to the credits. Those grass toppers are still weird though. That was probably the roughest playthrough yet, but if you're still watching at this point, or you're just randomly dropping in, then so I guess. Enemies in this game are just kind of random. I like the Tiki enemies more than the Vikings, though. So basically the music's the only thing about this game that I enjoy more. That and the fact that there's three different partners. Like, that would be pretty cool to see in Returns, I guess. Or any future Donkey Kong game. The old ones had them, but they didn't really have that uh, ability, you know? Like, in this game, they actually give them abilities. That and the underwater... Underwater minecart type thing was only shown off in, like, one level, basically. But it was really cool, uh, not in the 3D effects I guess, so this game, it's definitely good. It's not ideal for a playthrough like this one though. I will give it that. It's not good for doing a playthrough, unless you're doing it in small increments. 
If you get this game, then yeah, that's a really smart decision for the Wii U because this is one of the best games on there. But if you're one of the people like me who want to do a playthrough on this game, do it in small increments. This, <laughs> I think the problem is that I've been doing the majority of this game a bit too much. Like, if I just did it one level at a time, it would take a lot longer, but it would be a lot less stressful because I'd only have to worry about doing one level. I sized it down there a little bit at the end by only doing three levels of video for this final place because honestly, this final place, if you try to do it all in one video, you could really tire yourself out unless you took kind of breaks and had some sort of drink or something. Speak of which, I haven't had a drink like in forever. Like, my throat is dry as heck. So yeah, it's definitely a really good game. Just... These games are just hard to do playthroughs on, and I've managed to do it on both of the new games. Working on doing this one 100%, I already did Returns 3D 100%. I did it on Returns 3D because, like, I don't know, I was getting that set up instead of the Wii setup. But now it would have been easier just to do regular Returns with the current gamepad setup I have. Honestly, I could do that, and it would be much better gameplay than uh, Returns 3D now I think about it, because I would actually be playing it in my normal sense. You know what, I'll revisit it, especially if I get a capture card or something in the future. I'll, I'll probably revisit Returns and the older ones. Nice sax. Nintendo has been going sax recently, but that's okay, because a lot of Nintendo, especially Mario, Mario just... 3D Mario games have really good music, but 2D Mario games, they should just go, like, sax on or something, because current 2D Mario game music just sucks. So... And you gotta love that Sticker Bash Symphony remix. The, the credits are like <laughs> my favorite card of the game. Oh my gosh. Donkey Kong credits, they're not one of those stupid interactive things. Speaking of Mario credits, that's how you tell when you have a deep game or not deep game. Like, for example, Mario Galaxy 1, I prefer it over 2. It had nice cinematic cutscenes like that, credits like that. Then Galaxy 2 had this really weird interactive thing where you just like walked around. I don't know. I do enjoy cutscenes that are more like this game more than those interactive ones, because honestly, by the end of this game, you don't really want to fool around on interactive credits anyways, you just want to sit back and take a look at all that you've done. Donkey Kong looks a lot younger in this game for some reason, just because of the way that they do this for... You found a mysterious relic, all seven mysterious relics found! Uh, cheering sounds, that means we're going to secret seclusion. Now, I am not afraid of this world. I am not really... Honestly, the worst stage is probably my... The first stage is probably my worst. The other two, I'm honestly perfectly fine with. I mean, the final one is pretty difficult. I'll give it that, but I'm not really... I'm not really dreading it, so... That's gonna be the final episode of this. Uh, apart from, uh, you know, like a video, of course, showcasing all the extra stuff that you get. And there are some that you only get with like 200% I believe, so I'm going to be doing it like Return 3D and I'll just show it on my playthrough where I actually did all that, on my profile when I did all that. But yeah, th that's to come. There's at least a couple videos left in this. Um, but this is the end of the main immediate game, you know. This this is the end of the whole big Donkey Kong quest to... What was he even doing? Oh yeah, he was like reclaiming his island, so... He's got his island back. I'm not sure we want. I don't know. The other islands are pretty cool, but he's got his nice, fancy item island back, and I can definitely understand why he'd want it. So the quest has been solved, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go and end this video before it gets too long, I guess. That was Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Oh yeah, it skips to that. There you go, free gameplay. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, until the next video, I'll you know if you if you like the video, then uh, show it. I guess, whatever you want to say, if you feel like it, then please like and subscribe, I guess. Um, saying that more to be customary than anything, uh, what I get out of it is motivation, not money, because I don't really have any money set up anyways on that, because there's like some monetizing, but yeah. So, moment of truth there. Um, but yeah, until next time, stay fancy. I'll see you in the next one.